Why is Africa constructing a massive green wall across the Sahara Desert? Eleven nations are building a wall of trees that spans Africa from east to west, just below the southernmost limit of the Sahara Desert. The goal is to halt desertification due to the consequences of climate change. The Great Green Wall campaign, spearheaded by Africans, seeks to establish an 80-kilometer-long natural wonder across the continent. The effort has been ongoing for more than 10 years and is currently 15% finished. And it is already bringing life back to Africa's devastating landscapes. On a scale never seen before. It provides millions of people who live along its path with food. Security, job possibilities, and a reason to stay. When complete, the Great Green Wall will be the largest living structure in the world and three times larger than the Great Barrier Reef. A few critical challenges facing the African continent and the rest of the world are climate change, drought, starvation, violence, and migration. It seems like the wall is a workable solution. You are watching why Africa is building a great green wall in the Sahara Desert. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to Africa Info Hub. Without much delay, let's dive into the video. The massive wall being built in Africa is an inspiring project. By 20 different nations to work together for the benefit of all. The Great Green Wall is an impressive plan to cover about 6,000 miles, or 8,000 kilometers of land. With a thicket of drought-resistant trees at the southern edge of the Sahara Desert. An area known as the Sahel. From the Atlantic to the Red Sea, it spans the entire width of the continent. In the past, the region was lush and mostly covered in savanna and grassland. However, protracted droughts have altered its composition. Food and water shortages exist. Increased migration as residents seek better neighborhoods. And conflicts over diminishing natural resources. The African Union is in charge of the project known as the Great Green Wall. It was initially intended to stop the Sahara from spreading. And combat desertification in the Sahel region. The project is a reaction to the dual impact of drought and resource degradation in rural areas. It aims to increase food security while assisting communities in mitigating and adapting to climate change. By 2039, the Sahel's population is predicted to double, underscoring the significance of preserving food production and environmental protection in the region. Richard Street Bar Baker, a British explorer, went on an expedition to the Sahara in the 1950s. Street Barb's Baker suggested a green front to serve as a 30 miles deep, tree buffer to contain the expanding desert. During his 25,000 miles expedition, the concept was brought up again in 2002 at a special summit held to commemorate the World Day. To battle desertification and drought in Najamana, the capital of Chad. It was approved at the seventh ordinary session of the Conference of Leaders and Heads of States of the community of the Sahel Saharan states, which took place in Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso, from June 1 to 2, 2005. The African Union approved the Great Green Wall for the Sahara and the Sahel Initiative in 2007. An integrated multi-sectoral approach resulted from the lessons learned from Algeria's Green Dam and China's Green Wall. The project started as a tree planting initiative and eventually became a development programming tool. The project to address the social, economic, and environmental effects of land degradation. And desertification was overseen by CHSG in 2007. The nations of Burkina Faso, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, Sudan, and Chad. Subsequently established the Pan-African Agency of the Great Green Wall, in September 2012, the African Ministerial Conference on Environment. The Great Green Wall was a flagship program that in the words of AMCN, will help achieve the Rio Plus 20 goal of a land degradation neutral world, which is the objective of the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development. To expand on the Great Green Wall for the Sahara and the Sahel Initiative. 
the European Union and the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. Introduced the Action Against Decertification Program in 2014. This initiative was a partnership with African and other regional partners. In short, AMCEN adopted a unified regional strategy. Nigeria established a temporary organization to aid the Great Green Wall development. In 2017, Ecosia expanded its campaign to Ethiopia. The following year, it did the same in Senegal. As of September 2021, Ecosia had planted over 16 million trees in Burkina Faso, over 1 million in Senegal, and over 9 million in Ethiopia. 2015 Drylands Monitoring Week evaluated the state of dryland measurement and sparked cooperation for extensive, thorough monitoring. Planning, including working with the local population and selecting vegetation, was followed by plantings and land restoration. 21 nations had GGW-related projects in 2016. That included farmer-supported natural regeneration. In Burkina Faso, bare land restoration has been successfully demonstrated. Though security is a concern, the BBC stated that Senegal had made the most progress. In September 2017, with significant advancements made in Nigeria, Senegal, and Ethiopia, 15% of the wall was finished. As of March 2019, there have been over 11 million trees planted in Senegal, over 12 million in Nigeria, and over 15 million in Ethiopia. According to reports, in September 2021, only 4 million acres of the Great Green Wall's planned area had been planted. With 5.5 billion seedlings planted, Ethiopia has achieved the greatest success, while Chad has only planted 1.1 million. The likelihood that the 11 million Senegalese trees will survive has been questioned. Local participation and ownership of actions. And creating more comprehensive global planning. The regional harmonized strategy strongly emphasizes collaboration between parties, integrating new initiatives into existing ones, and sharing lessons learned primarily through South-South cooperation and technology transfer. By 2030, the $8 billion project hopes to restore 100 million hectares, 250 million acres and 1 million square kilometers of degraded land, will generate 350,000 rural jobs and remove 250 million tons and 280 million short tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Children and adults of all ages work together to plant acacia trees that are primarily resistant to drought and vegetable and fruit gardens. The project has been underway for just over 10 years and is currently 15% finished. The Great Green Wall Project's efforts to green the desolate area impact more than just decertification and land degradation in the region. The millions of people who live there have found food and water security, improved well-being, more jobs, and even boosting gender equality as women have found work, and a reason to stay, in addition to the land beginning to come back to life. As an international symbol, not just the Sahara can benefit from the Great Green Wall. It serves as a universal metaphor for humanity triumphing over its greatest threat in our rapidly deteriorating environment. It demonstrates that if we can cooperate with nature, even in difficult environments like the Sahel, we can overcome challenges and create a better world for future generations. The Great Green Wall is changing the lives of millions of people in the Sahel region, which is doing more than just growing trees and plants. The UN Sustainable Development Goals, also known as the SDGs, a global agenda that seeks to realize a more just and sustainable world by 2030, are significantly aided by the Great Green Wall. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends about it and hit the like button. Also, share with friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.